If you go down to the Mid Devon Showground today, you're in for a big surprise. If you go down to the Mid Devon Showground today, you better go in disguise. Because the BBC are here to raise money for their chosen charity of the year, the Devon Air Ambulance. What do you think of that, Winnie Bear? Thumbs up approval. If you hadn't guessed by now, today was the day the teddy bears and their owners had their picnic here in Tiverton. BBC Radio Devon hoped to get as many listeners involved in raising £600,000 for their Devon Air Ambulance appeal. What we're trying to do is get every Radio Devon listener just who uh, is in the county to spend £1.50 and that will get us to our target £600,000 which will enable us to buy a brand new aircraft for North Devon. We just need to get that final push. Uh, we've got £20,000 in the bank so far so we're trying to build on that. And so what events have we got lined up here this afternoon? Well there's loads going on as you can probably see, there's the Bouncy Castle. Uh, we've got Michael Checker with the radio car down here, he's doing live broadcasting so you can actually be on the radio. You can have a go at the Tombola, there's, there's all the sort of fun of the fair really. Oh, it's been great fun. I'm so glad that the sun came out to shine. And there's a wonderful mixture of teddy bears here, from huge, great, well-dressed bears to little tiny bears. My daughter bought, brought uh, a monkey with her, but, you know, that's up to her. It's a very wide definition of teddy bears, and um, we're right in the middle of a lovely picnic at the moment. And what do you think of our surroundings here near Tiverton? Oh, isn't it glorious? Such a beautiful part of Devon. I mean, you look, everything's lush and green and wide and open spaces. It, re it really is very beautiful here. Joining in with the fun were some of the many patients rescued by the Devon Air Ambulance in their 18-year history, including the very first one. Uh, it was quite exciting. It was my first flight. <laughs> Um, I really, really, yeah, I'm really, really grateful to them. Yeah. Uh, so you're here to lend your support? Lend my support, uh, yes. I, I do try and uh, send a donation every year and uh, I, I would love to do more. I'm waiting to win the lottery and then you can have it all. <laughs> I didn't realise but it's only funded by um, charities and what um, we are doing like today to help um, raise money for them. And of course you've brought your teddy bear along here today. Yeah, I got this when I um, went in the air ambulance. He's a special teddy to you then? Yeah, a very special teddy. Well I think they do a fantastic job. Um, I think they need all the support they can get. Um, nobody knows when it's going to happen. I thought it only happened to people that did dangerous things, but it just doesn't. It's, I mean I wasn't doing anything silly. Just, just a little walk and it just happened. So I think it's fantastic what they do. It's lovely! <laughs> Then the teddies lined up and there was an anxious wait to see which one would be crowned the best teddy at today's event. Mark Grinnell and Devon Air Ambulance's Nigel Hare had some tough decisions to make. Ah, very clever. Oh, I'm standing on one look. Oh, is this your favourite bear? It's got sap. Is it favourite bear? Yeah. It's lovely, it's isn't she? And this is... Uh, what's your one called? Freddy. Freddy. Freddy's looking quite old. Is it your bear originally? Fred bear. Fred bear. Like I say, this one, very furry. This one, not so furry. <laughs> Where do we start with this one? A Jedi bear. A Jedi bear. Excellent. Do you want to hold Jedi bear up so everyone can see Jedi bear? A round of applause for Jedi bear. Does he feel the force? Absolutely. <laughs> okay, Tom the seal. I've got Tom the seal. And yours is? Bow bear. Bow bear. Okay, we're going to make a decision. Have you got your... your... I think I've got one I like. So we could be winning brown bear and, and small but just as important Radio Devon Air Ambulance bear, who we haven't named yet. Okay, we're going to go for Pinky Bear. Pinky Bear's the winner. Hooray! These are for you. You've got new bears to look after as well. There you go. How does it feel to win and have the best bear here today? Very um, nice, thank you. Very nice, thank you. <laughs> Why do you think your bear won? Because um, it's the prettiest bear. Your it's the prettiest bear. <laughs> and does he have a name? Um, 
Pinky. Pinky. And what does it mean to the family behind the bear to be able to win here today? It's wonderful. It's never expected all this to come up here and receive this. It'll be great to go home and tell your mummy and daddy, won't it? Yeah. Hey? Who's going to get in the door first? I don't know. <laughs> Where are we going next? Is this a Winnie the Pooh bear? <laughs> yes! With so many different bears to choose from, just how did the judges come up with a winner? Well, I think teddy bears should be cuddly, sweet, the sort of bears that you really want to see. I have to admit, the old Jedi bear was a man bear, the sort of bear I'd go for, but seeing as his owner was a friend of mine, I couldn't really go for him. So the next best thing was a bear that really is sort of cute and cuddly, and that was Pinky Bear. And what did you make of the overall uh, look of the bears? I couldn't believe how many different types of bears there are. There's teddy bears, there's teddy elephants, teddy seals, all sorts of different things that are cuddly. But teddy bears still hit it for me. They're actual bear, proper bears, you see. What we're trying to do is get enough money together to put towards the purchase of a second air ambulance, and that will make a significant difference for the people in Devon, having an air ambulance that is bespokely designed for their needs. How much a year does the Devon Am Ambulance need to operate? Well, for the two air ambulances, to, for both air ambulances to cover the whole of the county, to fly 365 days a year, and all the infrastructure we need to put that in place, it's £4 million a year. So, not an insignificant, insignificant sum, but money very well spent in your time of need. The Devon Air Ambulance had planned to land in the opposite field, but unfortunately for us, they got called away to help yet another patient on a busy August bank holiday weekend. And you can find out more on how to donate to Radio Devon's Air Ambulance Appeal by visiting www.daat.org or BBC website www.bbc.co.uk forward slash Devon. Lewis Clark for Loose News from the Mid-Devon Showground.